last example, uh, we saw how uh, JPF was able to find the race condition in a program. Uh, another common problem that happens is uh, generally when the testing is being executed, it is being only tested for corner cases, uh, wherein that's where the model checkers are useful. Uh, the model checkers systematically check for every possible uh, inputs and it tries to uh, check whether the program can uh, work properly for every possible input combination that is possible. Uh, so uh, in this example, let's try to see uh, a simple program uh, which uh, basically takes, uh, which basically computes uh, this thing, c equals to a divided by b plus a minus 2. Uh, I mean, looking at this, we can definitely see uh, the denominator can be 0, which can lead to an arithmetic ex exception. But uh, in a larger scale program, it might be complicated, uh, mu much, much more complicated than what it is here. Uh, so, uh, systematically checking the program for every possible inputs uh, is uh, definitely a value add to have. Uh, so, here uh, we're assigning A to some random variable a value, and uh, we're assigning B to a random value, and uh, we're computing C equals to A divided by B plus A minus 200. Um, so, uh, let's initially run this program uh, in uh, as a normal Java application. Uh, so it's going to be running on a Java virtual machine. So right click it and run the file. Again, please ignore this uh, when it means us necessarily asking for input uh, data. Uh, so. I ran the program and the program ran very fine. C was 0, uh, B was assigned to 63 and A was assigned to 1 and uh, C was 0. That's basically because we are doing an integer division. That's why we are not seeing the real numbers in uh, Java. Uh, so uh, this is going to be working fine uh, for multiple times if you keep on trying to execute this uh, in a normal uh, Java condition. Uh, setup. So uh, let us try to run this uh, through JPF. Uh, so sorry, not this one. So here we have the target specified and uh, 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 CG dot enumerate random. Uh, that is the choice generator, uh, which is set to random and uh, it is going to be enumerating the random sequence uh, so that's why it is uh, and then if there is any property violation then uh, we are flagging an error that's what this means uh, going back to the java program and uh, i'm going to right click it as i said just for simplicity i'll be uh, running it uh, through netbeans uh, plugin uh, that is right click the .jpf file and click verify so I click verify. Now the program starts to execute in uh, uh, the JPF virtual machine setup. Uh, so it has systematically run the program and then it was able to find an arithmetic exception of divide by zero. So uh, if you look at this trace out here, so basically uh, uh, JPF is an explicit model checker. So it tries to execute for every possible combination. So that's why it has uh, begun from here with a equals to 0 and b equals to 0. And then uh, it checked for b equals to 1, keeping a as 0, so on and so forth, until it found an error. Uh, but uh, JPF uh, internally does a lot of uh, beautiful optimization because of which it was able to achieve this faster performance and still uh, it was able to find out there was a problem. Uh, uh, knowing about how it actually does, it actually does a recursive backtracing uh, and it also does much, much more optimization um, because the state space here can be uh, humongous. Uh, so, and moreover, as soon as it finds an error, it just stops there. It's not going to give you all the possible errors. So it's basically going to stop where 
as soon as it got a got an exception. So uh, and then it prints out some statistics about uh, how many times it has backtracked and uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, looking at, all, I mean, look, you know, getting into all those uh, things uh, is much beyond the scope of this video. We'll look at that uh, eventually uh, in the architecture video uh, once I get to make it. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, thanks.